first time at a tournament. Thank yeah. you, everyone, for coming here. Uh, this is the second time that I've run about of war, and it's the second time that you've all collectively blown me away with your attendance, your enthusiasm, like all of the effort that you've put in to be here <coughs> in a relatively groggy time of the year. So, for that, if nothing else, a round of applause to all of you. Um, I'd also like to give a massive, massive shout out to the wonderful creatures behind Fox Table Gaming. So, our cameraman, Piper <laughs> <laughs> G and Grotto. Uh, their support has been invaluable, um, as well as all the Bristol Ninjas that have helped me out, and anyone else that has contributed to the tournament to make it as good as it has been this weekend. Thank you so, so much. For And I'd also like to thank Jim and Ellen and all the other staff here at Big. Uh, they have been supporting us ever since Art of War 1 and all of the other tournaments in between. Um, without their help, this wouldn't have happened. So, massive round of applause to you. As you can see here, courtesy of uh, Ryan. Peter G. Gobbo, he's been rifling through quite a few people's stashes to bring us a horde of prizes. Um, I would like to start with this year's War of Art 2023, which is our Super Duper Painting Competition. Now, we have a number of categories as we did last year. Uh, I'd like to start with the best single. Now, when we saw it, it was shocking, but we couldn't tear our eyes off it. And we, we were like, Henry, what are you doing, mate? But his screamer won best single. Uh, for best unit, if I could invite Mr. Stonebank to his Desert Dogs. And for Judges <laughs> Open, uh, which was a bit of a free-for-all that was decided by uh, Ryan, Jim and I, uh, if I can invite <coughs> Mr. Matt Wilson for his chariot. Uh, we didn't want the painters to miss out, so we let them have a podium this time. Um, so, in joint third place, if I could bring up Mr. Chris Bond and Mr. Stonebanks. So, um, we'll let you two figure that out. Um. This one's slightly easier. In second place, uh, Henry with his vampire coffee. And in first place, where are you, David? Your EOS. Not <laughs> 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 so, um, our sponsors also gave us a lot of STLs, and I appreciate that not everyone is in a position where they can use STLs, but we are in a position where we can raise money using those STLs for a fantastic cause. This year, we have chosen to support the charity Calm, which is a charity that supports uh, mental health for men. 75% of UK suicides are male, and... Unfortunately, we tend to find that mental health problems for men is something that is either <coughs> hidden or sh felt to be shameful. We need to change that. 
off the back of the STL raffles, which we will be rolling off and doing a video for to announce the winners, of which there will be several, between you all, through one whip round, we've raised £300. Um, I will be hounding some of you for paying my <laughs> Um, but if the PayPal will stay open, if you want to do more kind of entries or if you just want to donate, everything that you're sending me is going straight to Carl and wants us all finalised. Um, it's a fantastic cause and it affects us all. So, yeah, super important. Next up, we have Best in Races. Uh, what I'm going to do this time uh, is just invite all of you up, like all of the winners. Um, so, if I, in, a, in an awkward group in front of me, if I can invite... Matt Wilson, Tommy Tucker, Ed Murdoch, James Root, Shane Shepherd, David P, Owen Holborn, Wes Wheeler, Chris Crawford, Ali P, Josh Burns, Mikey Newman, Andy Catlow, and Tim Bockneck. Woo! Uh, so also, uh, Warren Brewster would have been the best in race for Soaring Ancients. He's not here today. Uh, he's had to dash home. So if I could actually grab uh, Ross Stevenson, his best bud. There we go. Up you come, bud. Ready? So. Twins. <laughs> yeah. So um, we've got a number of blister packs here. Uh, the 16 odd of you. Descend on that area and just fight amongst yourselves. Apart from Mr. And Mr. Cutlow, if I can have you off to the side for a sec. Because you're a rat. Yeah, the rest of you. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, yeah, but firm is no prizes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love video in a queue. Oh, yes. <laughs> this queue is going to get some views, I tell you. Oh, ho, ho. It's commentary that does it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't think we were that bad to actually just in the tournament, it's the cut though. The reason I singled you out is because you happen to be the winner of Berlin Swarm Best in Race. And that carries the responsibility of knowing that everyone else in the room hates you. <laughs> so actually, your best in race is a unit of gutter runners. Congratulations. <laughs> Um, so, next, uh, in terms of the sort of like best of races, uh, Mr. Matt Sewell very, very generously uh, offered up a new prize for a, a side event. Uh, he refers to it as the Overlooked Underdog. Um, and I can't say what... He, he singled out the races and he used a word that I can't say on YouTube. <laughs> but um, this is the highest rated, uh, highest rated player playing Beast Herds, Empire, uh, UD... Ogres, Orcs, Highborn Elves, or Dwarven Holds. So, if I could invite Shane Shepherd back up to the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you going to call? There is a debate in the Ninth Age community that what comes next is the most important prize. Uh, 
it's for people who can't get on podium mainly. Uh, but for best sport, um, again, it's a tie. Two two individuals who are both as friendly and smiley as each other. So on my left and right, if I can invite Guillaume and Mr. Ben Crouch. Guillaume's gone. Guillaume's gone. Ben Crouch. He's got the He's got the Best for How friendly. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll slide that one out. Who's that? Who's that? Do you bother counting? Um, <laughs> Rory, can so, just take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll figure it out and give it to you. Um, in all walks of life, there must be winners, but there must also be losers. <laughs> if I could invite Mr. Ross Stevenson. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh very young! Ross Stevenson! I present to you, sir, the ceremonial wooden tanto to commit seppuku with. Is there anything I'm on all weekend? You need some new dice, <laughs> so. Thank you. And these are yours as well. Um, but, before you go, um, Ross here is one of our Bristol ninjas, and a very important tradition that we run here at Art of War is all of the Bristol boys that are playing participate in an event called the Golden Samurai, which is the highest rated Bristol ninja. Now normally, the samurai is passed from the previous holder to the new holder. Fortunately, Warren has gone. So if I can invite Shane to the front, please. And Ross, if I can get you to present it to him. Last but not least, uh, the podium. Um, <laughs> in third place, if I can invite Mr. Ed Murdoch. <laughs> Uh, if I could also invite back, <laughs> getting his steps in, Mr. Shane Shepherd, <laughs> second place. <laughs> and in first place, the winner of Art of War 5, The Orphan Gate Crisis, Mr. Andy Catlow. <laughs> Some of you that have been to previous tournaments might have noticed that these are very odd shaped swords. It's because they're not swords, they're statues. Apparently, there was a bit of a legal problem <laughs> handing out swords. <laughs> um, but it is tradition, and we are suckers for tradition because we're war gamers playing Night Day. So. <laughs> <laughs> in, third, oh, 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 oh. in third place, <laughs> in second place, it's the Shane Shepherd, and in first place, it lights up. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, all for coming. Uh, again, I really, really appreciate all of your beautiful faces being here. Uh, I know it's been a very long journey for some of you, and I wish you uh, the safest of returns. Uh, so I don't have my balls removed. If you haven't paid your tab, please go and speak to Helen before you leave. Um, she'll set your dog, the dogs on you if you don't. Uh, <laughs> but otherwise, thank you all once again, and we'll see you next year for Art of War 6. Round of applause. Cheers, Thank, you. Thank you, Dan. All of you, all of you, <laughs> <laughs> and if you like D and D and roleplay, explore us about Swaggy YouTube channel. <laughs>